up everyone we're back with some more resident evil 2 and a whole new playthrough for the game yes so um as of yesterday i finished a complete playthrough of having done leon kennedy a and claire redfield b the latter or the second run as it's also as the latter is also known as in this game and for the most part, despite a few small things that I took foul with in the second run, I really, really like the game, if not love it. However, there's still a lot more to it, and not without even, and unknowingly, I ended up doing the, what I guess everyone considers the non-canon version of the game story. Leon A, Claire B, whereas apparently it's Claire A, Leon B. Honestly, I don't know. I've heard people say it's the other way around and, and vice versa, so who knows, really. Now, in most cases, I would say that would be it. But considering that there's, that there's more variety in the game in terms of scenarios and who the characters interact with, I say, what the hell? Let's do a second full playthrough of the game with Claire and then Leon. And, of course, get to do the characters in the alternate outfits. And since this is going to be a new separate playthrough, if you're only now just going to, if you're going to only now getting on board, you don't have to watch the original little playthrough I did. But I still think it's enjoyable all the same. And unlike last time, I will f do the alternate costumes. And I really wanted to do the Cl Claire's alternate outfit, but since the rerun, the second run starts off differently than how I expected it to, the outfit didn't really translate to the first cutscene. Hell, the first cutscene didn't really go how I expected it would, so... So, we will get it the way I originally wanted to do it. And, uh, and I think you could see why I would... Well, I like the normal outfit just fine, but personally, I think I like the alternate version of Claire a little better. So, Leon S. Kennedy, a few days after radio silence from his new post, Leon... As Kenny drives to Raccoon Sea to scope things out, I'm announced to him a nightmare awaits. Claire Redfield, a different nightmare awaits Claire Redfield, who is unaware of just how drastically her ordinary life is about to change. Now, you can see why I did Leon first, right? Like, he's not only the first one in line. The way the, the paragraph description, the way the descriptions are organized makes it, you know, one or the other. But no, it's apparently, in the ca for canonicity, it's, it's the other way around. So, yeah. Not exactly what I expected. So, yeah. Hardcore, saving requires an ink rim and no auto, so stronger enemies. Honestly, I don't feel I'm good enough in the game yet to attempt that. So, I'm going to stick with standard. For this playthrough, like I did the last one. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. And we open up to that disgusting McGriddle. Friday night, I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. Yeah, that's what happens when you... Har, har, har. I haven't been able to sleep since 
That's what happens when you end up on the wrong side of town. Don't change the radio while driving. Also bring plenty of coffee. Yeah, that ain't coming out. Tell him what happened. That zombie looks pretty damn intact despite being pummeled. Yeah, I'm almost there. You know me, I'll be fine. That's good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? I don't know, you tell me. What the? Hello? And we finally have it. Claire in the classic outfit. And oh my god, she looks beautiful. Seriously. Biker chick, go to firearms, and damn, hot damn attractive. Mmm, I'm in love. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I originally wanted to do this costume previously, but considering how the game starts differently in the second run, I, I figured stick it out with the standard and see how it looks. And I know a lot of some, a lot of Resident Evil fans, probably old school fans especially, probably cried foul over the lack of the bodysuit underneath, but personally, I don't mind this. And being one that appreciates gorgeous women in my fiction to admire as well, to look, to not only admire, but also look at. Hey, I, I, hey, I like my TLC, okay? You know, it's an extra little, little bonus for me. Like, seriously, how can you say no to this? Not to mention she's a proper f character compared to what the Resident Evil movies and sadly the rest of Hollywood thinks good characters require. Dingo Red Cigarettes. When life has you seen red, enjoy the wild taste of Dingo Red. Now on sale. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't smoke. And she has a nice, nice Harley Davidson in matching red. I miss the black Harley that me and dad, that dad used to have. A lot of memories. Only thing I don't like about the costume is the giant knife holster that takes up an entire shoulder right there. Uh, I wish it was a little down there if you get my drift. But it is what it is, I guess. And I love the I love the increased detail on the on the jacket right there. Another thing, uh oh. Another thing I also like is that apparently the costume actually goes changes with the the cutscenes because you know earlier it, just a minute ago it showed the you know the helmet and then later on she eventually takes the jacket off to give the sherry. So I like that. It's not just. The costume stays the way it is. No, it actually differs as the game goes on. It's so. It's more than just a palette swap. 
Love the attention to detail. Hamburgers. Beer on sale. Hello? Anybody here? Sorry, we're closed. Huh. So that's how we Hello? get the flashlight. Eric, the Dragon Slayer. Is that a reference to Elric? Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. He no, he's far from okay. Let's dance. Oh, I'd certainly like to dance with Claire. Excuse me, is everything okay? Stay back, ma'am. I got this. No, you don't. We do get some of her own unique dialogue. Uh oh. Nice picks. Storage room key. No way. Can't be alive. He's alive and kicking. items. Yes, I know. Leon. We gotta get out of here. You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Holy shit. Time to go. Some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, 
Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. <laughs> Raccoon City. Home of Umbrella and a lot of dead people. And monsters. Capcom presents Resident Evil 2 again. So what happens this time that's different? Citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Yeah, not happening. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but... What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Well, there's Sherry, there's Ada, there's Mrs. Birkin, and the survivors in the Outbreak games. Looks like we're walking from here. And Jill. You might want to run. for it. Don't worry, he's fine. Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. I love how he's just standing there waiting. Oh, there it is. I'm surprised the Resident Evil movies didn't just use that. They used every other word in the thesaurus. Th Almost there. They used every other word in the th in the thesaurus. Run, run, run. Into not so safe sanctuary. <laughs> Yeesh. 
So when Le so when Leon B starts, he'll be underneath the entrance. Eesh. Hardly. Ditch this. First aid spray. Come on, Chris. Where are you? Not here, that's for sure. Inside too. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East tunnel way. I should help this guy. You map. Yup. Watchman's room. Go in there in a bit. I need the knife to open this. And yeah, Marvin gives me the knife. I didn't notice that because the way it looked when I first did this is Leon just seemed different. I thought he gave me the jack when really he gave me he gave me the knife. And I was confused about that. I love this out this alternate outfit. I I never really understood why Capcom kept changing it with every retelling of Resident Evil 2. They changed it in Umbrella Chronicles or Dark Side Chronicles, which Monica had her in a different outfit, but I can excuse that for being an entirely different game set in a different part of the of the story. And then you have this, which, granted, I don't mind it, but, I don't know, just something about the old costume just looks, just, just looks great. I like it a lot. Ugh, we gotta crawl under. to hell. Views. East office. That has the chairs blocking it, right? That didn't sound good. 
zombie trying to push the door open. Focus, Claire. Focus. I like a lot of the extra dialogue that Claire has for her own character. Liana has his set, and she has her set. Of course, we have to come back here later for the secret. That's a lot of bodies. Can't open this yet. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Uh, I'm here! Open the door! Hurry up! Hurry up! Open it! Larry, give me your hand! Nope, you don't got him. the intestines. Ugh. Officer's notebook, so we have the, the medallion puzzle as it was in the first run-through without the pages being ripped to shreds. Shots for you. Watch out. You all right? Serves him right. You're safe. 
For now. <clears throat> Marvin Brown. Thanks. Obviously someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <clears throat> so nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, it's on me. Hey, hey, keep that on. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's... that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. Hey. Hey, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're gonna need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. Yeah, he knows he's doomed. So you can see your brother again. Now. We probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're gonna... Shh. And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Marvin has a completely different tone of voice in how he speaks to Claire compared to Leon, who was, who's an officer. Combat knife. Yep. Deluxe weapons added. Store this. I'm going to finally upgrade to this, so I might as well keep it on me. That's going to be locked. And I did not get to uh, bombard, and I did not get uh, mosh pitted by zombies at the, at the start like last time. <laughs> Officer's notebook, miscellaneous letter from best friend. Dear Claire, first of all, thanks for the letter. Now, if you'll let me get this thing off, one thing off my chest. I can't believe you're really going to do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself. Just to see your brother. What the hell, girl? I know Chris means a lot to you. And yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all. But you're nuts. You know how many perverts and assholes are out there? Just waiting for a hot young college soon to come along and take advantage of. It's not safe to travel alone. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine, I get it. Just promise you'll call when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your bestest best friend hanging, okay? Love ya. P.S. Your brother may be THE Chris Redfield, and they may have taught you how to fight and use a gun like a banshee, but that doesn't make you invincible, so don't get cocky out there. Don't get cocky, kid. What are you, Han Solo? I love how we never really know- I- Did we ever find out how, what the best friend is? Who the best friend is? I don't think we ever did. Do we? I don't know. Because if we haven't... Oh, I think we should introduce her at some point. So... Goddess statue I'm at, so... Goddess's head, bow and arrow, and curled snake. Bow and arrow is already set. Or 
is it? Oh, wait a minute. This is the lion statue. Silly me. I'm silly. Okay, as I was saying... Uh, what I really meant was lion head, uh, plant, and bird. Medallion. Lion, medallion. Okay, so one down. Yeah, for whatever reason, I confuse it with this goddess statue when the real one is all the way up in the west attic. I don't know why I forgot that. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. And I want to try and increase my rank, so I'm going to try and familiar... And I think I've been through a lot of the game where I kind of know where I am, but I don't want to screw up at the same time. What were the differences with the with the models again? Okay, Chris, 15, shot, all three of them are. Hard steel slide, silver gilded trigger, increased accuracy, reduced catching when drawing. Not sure what that means. means. And the Albert Wesker model. I'm going to hold on to the standard gun until I get the upgrade, and then switch it. Don't look at it. Who's there? Nobody good. And he's just hanging around. Club key, which Claire can't use. She gets the heart key. Uh oh, open window. I don't have boards. I kind of want to save the boards for when it's window zombies are going to start trying to bust through so that way I don't waste them. Record of events. 
September 25th, we're turning the station to a temporary shelter due to a massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it will be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. Now, I, I'm gonna be reading a lot of the stuff again for the first round. So that way, if anyone wants to, is late to the party and wants to see this playthrough, Claire A, Leon B, you know, they'll be caught up to speed. And, you know, as if without having to be forced to watch the other one, much as I would appreciate it. One floor map. Needs the claw. everything in here. There's Fatty going for his donuts. Huh, don't have to worry about the alternative gun. I guess that's only for the B playthrough. Direct hit. I love doing that. Aim for the crown and temple or back of the head. That seems to be where the most critical damage occurs. Locked. And... Okay, so we need to get... The heart key, uh, not heart key, the chain, uh, breaker in order to be able to get in there, so that way we could go through here and there. And if the special weapon, bonus weapon, is for the second run, then I don't have to worry about... I don't have to worry about having to juggle between... This gun and a redundant gun. Like I like with the, rev the... The redundant one being, of course, that revolver that I hated using. Storage locker terminal memo. Pierce, the key patch of the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else fuck it up this badly? Who... I, I still stress, who in their right mind would go fiddling around with this? Just to pull a prank on, on the rest of the force. Like... Yeah, he doesn't deserve to be just... Locked up and court-martialed or whatever the police version is. Dishonorably judge-charged or whatever. No, he deserves to get... He deserves to, to... He deserves a firing squad just for this. It's no wonder the police fell. Weapons locker. I need the key for that. Uh-oh. The guy with the hat.
Here he comes. I can do this. Nice headshot. You know, as annoying as it sometimes is for the zombies to keep coming to come back up, as if they were crimson, as if they were lesser versions of the crimson heads from the from the remake of the first game, which I really should play. I love how you have to how if you're good enough and get the right spots, you can get the headshots and you don't have to worry about them ever again. I love I like that. Okay, West Office and the dark room. Spade key. Gunpowder, handgun ML2, acid rounds. Gunpowder plus high, plus white. And Double white gives submachine guns. A little, uh, a little softer with the door, please. Mm. Okay, he's gonna get back up at some point. There's one safe. We got to do Leon's desk puzzle. Operation report, September 28, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo. And too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. And one fuck-up that locked away half the am uh, the rest of the ammo and weapons. Mm-hmm. It's all his fault. We're not going to take it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from his museum days. I brushed your idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. Yeah, the guy who got bifurcated earlier. Now... Seriously, I love how everyone refers to the zombies as, you know, zombies. <laughs> like, uh, just to reiterate my earlier point in my first playthrough, I never liked how, for whatever reason, in other zombie movies and zombie games or even anime, they never they like, like to, for whatever reason, be fancy or try to be and not refer to the zombies as zombies. They Like Walking Dead, they refer to them as walkers. As if to imply there's more than one zombie type when really walkers is all they ever encounter. And and then there's High School of the Dead, which is freaking hilarious and worth watching. <laughs> Just for how batshit crazy it is, they refer to the zombies as them. That's it. Just them. I mean, come on. They're rotting, they're limping, they're lurching, they're friggin' zombies. What other word do you need to describe them besides the undead? Or Nosferatu? Okay, so the lock puzzle. Neil. Neil Carson. Elliot Edward. Poor Elliot. And David Ford. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kitty, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get started. Scott to give you a straight answer, Lieutenant Brana, who we just met. Scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. 
Well, we're gonna be doing his assignment for him. Make his job a lot easy. George, Scott, Rita Phillips, Marvin, MRG. You asshole. Leon S. Kennedy, speed loader. Seriously, this game is a gun lover's is a gun lover's dream. I love how Capcom meticulously detailed everything. If you're a horror buff and a gun buff, this game this game satisfies both. SLS. Just makes loading faster. Wait a minute. I hear that damn raccoon spinning around. Uh-oh. Welcome, Leon. Sorry, sorry, Leon. The party's... The party is, uh, indefinitely postponed. There it is. I really hate those things. On the other hand, it gives me an infinite use knife, so... I guess I can't complain too much. So, West Office is cleaned out. Boards. Denied, idiot. You ain't coming in. Medical benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs named to the Arclay Mountains. Green, for basic heal injuries. Blue, used to treat poisoning. Red, visually appealing. Offers no med medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. Combining herbs together produces blends, heightens herbs effects. Discover that red herbs can play a big role in mixed property. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red... Together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution, or and by that they really mean re-strengthen your health. I it, for at first I thought originally it meant raise your health limit, but no, it's it's not Resident Evil 4 health. It just gives you it just it's basically just the give you full tank of gas, whereas the regular green green only gives you moderate health back. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal human body. Further research yield to even more fascinating results. Everyone jokes about the herbs being possibly an allegory for, for marijuana plants. Well, medical marijuana, anyway. Uh... 
Okay, I either want to combine these to make more more uh, gunpowder for 9mm or save them for acid rounds. I think I'll say... I don't know, honestly. There's many ways you could do it. Film evidence. Do not... Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Don't have film, so... Store. Come on, dummy. No head explosion. Wooden boards holding him back. Portable safe. Portable safe. Light them all open the safe. Press in a certain order. And apparently it's randomized. Flame rounds for the grenade launcher. I need a wheel. Examine, which will have the spare keys.
spare part. Yeah. Freaking solid snake stuffing zombies in lockers. Yeah. And yeah, I'm fair warning I might not be as frightened anymore as I was first fighting it, uh playing the game, because you know, once once you've gone through the say the scares over a, a couple of times, it's like the, the impact is lost. Still it's it's still an unsettling game, especially when a certain you know who shows up. Okay, so we could go one. One, two, two oh three, I can't do. Can't do three. Film. or two. I think I'll do two so I can get the flame rounds. That's for the statue, and I already know how that works. Commemorative, excuse me. Three can't do that one yet. Now I just need the launcher. That way, when I get liquors, I'll be prepared for them, just like I was with the shotgun the first time. That's locked, and those are locked.
Hmm. Let's look at the guns, shall we? Okay, this is the Chris model. Custom Kendo. Kendo! Okay, so Kendo and the Robert Kendo mate makes the guns for, for the Star's crew. Special Order. Star's RPD special team. Engraves them. Always liked engravings. Reminds me of Devil May Cry's guns. So he has, so this is Chris. Blue, uh, blue frame with a silver trigger. Or steel slide. This is the Jill model. Grayer. Smaller slide. Then the Albert model. Looks a bit more beefy by comparison. Does look a bit more seem more fitting to give her the Chris model. I do like the little blue stars insignia on the Jills. Blue is like her color, I believe. And then there's. And there's the Albert model, which is a bit more beefed up. I personally like the black slide a bit more. Which Jill also has. I think I'll try the Chris model. For now.
And I'll come back and get the SLS 60 when I get the the mod for it. Creepy statue. Spade key. Liquor. To any survivors, consider this a gift to anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Liquors, we call them. They're blind as bats, but their hearing more than makes up for that. As long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns a-blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around him. Yeah. Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That and I've got a friend to avenge. David. So, David, um, yeah, if that blood was any indication, David got, um got murdered right when he was in the tail end of his note. Freaking little Harlequin doll right there. Ugh. Ugh. That shook me up. That's where the liquor hides. C4 with no detonator. Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate a-holes. They cut me off. After all I've done for them, but that's how it's gonna be, so be it. Gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I've ordered all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it, and it's our suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. I want to say that was uh, Chief Irons, because remember he was listening to old music in his taxidermed screwball hide out of the of an orphanage or of an orphanage I, I want to say that was him because he seems like the guy that would kill any of the guys under him especially when William Birkin told him dispose of stars if you have to so I'm tempted to say that's irons just just uh, just on a hunch on an assumption
Blair, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why, what's up? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. Can't do this. Here. There's the unicorn. Unicorn, two fish, scorpion, and water urn. Spade key. I like the spade key the most out of all of them. Just looks pretty. Upper floors map. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. It's Leon. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Do away with this. Now I can go through there. Two medallions down, one more to go.
Whoa, good shot. Two, two headshots in a row. That's already moved. That's everything in here. Except for the, except for the Jack puzzle. Two lucky headshots in a row. Uh, yeah, I think I'll hold on to what I got. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know? While well, we are the home of pharmaceutical um, giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant, dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features, like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall, remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. And it's also where Umbrella gets its test subjects. Turns a museum into a police station. Thank you. See, Claire gets me. She knows that. She knows she, that, like I do, that this museum being turned into a, into a half complete police station was a bad idea. Hell, if you if you check my my B pass with her, there's many more examples where I. Where we both agree on how extra Umbrella and Raccoon's denizens are. Okay, I already used up the spade key, so discard that. Sounds like the helicopter. The one that's gonna go boom any moment. Oracle, the red stone. Ruby captivate that captivated Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry. The diamond that led to a queen to the guillotine. There's no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like these, uh, those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noblewoman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This, this fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during the auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula. <laughs> and Stalin and Hitler, Pol Pot and Mao Zedong and Bloody Mary and Edward the Henry the Eighth and Nero and so on and so forth. Yeah, Caligula. <laughs> and we have the tales to prove it. 
Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood, their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. I am Alexanderus Koganius. Weapons locker key card for the grenade launcher. Not that. Red book. Held by hand. Statue's left arm. How convenient they actually left the, the hand there. I don't have to go looking all over the place for it. Left arm with book. Scepter. And the red jewel within the scepter. Nothing else in here. I think I'll, uh, that. I'm gonna go get grenades, so I'm gonna hold on to this. Store this. That's funny. That is hilarious. I love her smack talk. She's perfect. Okay. Nade launcher. GM seventy nine. Firing flame and acid rounds, R1 to switch ammo types. Now I have my means of getting rid of liquors.
Okay, if we're going to be going back and forth. So I think I'm going to... Save. Yeah, I already saved my game here. Okay. I'm going to take a small break and come back in a little bit. And, um... So far, so good. I'm, I'm, I, I like seeing the differences between the A and B routes with the different characters, and we definitely get a world of difference with Claire. Best of all, no having to put up with that damn revolver, so I definitely feel mo more at home than I did last time. And I look forward to seeing how the rest of uh, Claire's path goes here. So far, big difference is her meeting Marvin first and not Leon and I really do like her re seeing her reactions to things and well and seeing how different everything is and also that alternate hit, that alternate costume mm -mm -mm. Mwah, love it so I'm gonna take a small one and be back in a little while with with part two of of Claire a so thank you all for watching be back soon